What's up, everybody? Big Daddy B coming at you live from the AG. Baltimore Ravens coming off a big win Thanksgiving Day against the 49ers. The Harbaugh ball. Ravens win the game. Take down one of the, according to the NFL people, one of the powerhouses in the NFL this year. You know, whatever they want to say, we win the game. We knock them down to two win, two losses for the year. We, we stay on top of the division. Uh, coming up this week, got the Cleveland Clowns. We're heading into their stadium. You know, a lot of people are like, and the Clown fans are like, oh, yeah, Baltimore doesn't do good against teams that don't have good records after they win a big game. You know, that's true. That is true this year. That's been true this year, and it sucks because if we won two of those games that we should have won, we wouldn't have lost at two of those games. We, it would be our division. It would be over. But unfortunately, we did, so we got to live with that. But it won't happen this week because we're playing a division opponent. We know the team. They know us. Just going to go in there and slam it heads, just like we did against the Steelers twice. It's against Cincinnati. Cleveland's a little less team. Uh, but I see us winning this game. Um, on to the Cleveland uh, team, man. I just want to set this to rest real quick. Just get this out of the way. Look, man. Every time we got to hear how we took your team, we want, we took your team. That's our Super Bowl. And I was like, look, man. Your city made a mistake like we made. They didn't represent. They didn't give Modell what he wanted. They didn't give the man an opportunity to make some money to put a team on the field to win one of these. They didn't do it. Now take a good look at that. That's a Baltimore Raven on that hat for the for the championship. For Super Bowl 35. That's not that's not a Brownie. That's a Raven. Because we gave the man the opportunity to make money and build the team he wanted to go to the promised land to win one of these. You didn't do it in Cleveland. You wouldn't build him a stadium. You built everyone else something. You built that fucking baseball team, which your baseball team's got had gotten better after the stadium was built, but they were shit before that. Before that they they weren't they weren't a good team. <clears throat> you built that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, slapped Art Modell in the face again. You built the fucking Cavaliers a new a new arena. Got slapped Modell in the face again. Man couldn't take it no more. You bit slapped him and he loved that town. He wanted to go someplace better. He wanted to go to a cleaner place, a better place, a place where people would love him, revere the man, honor his name, and back him and give him an opportunity to do what he wanted to do. And that was win one of these. Baltimore did that. We backed him. We loved him. We built him a stadium. And he gave us a championship. You should have fucking learned from what went, went, went down with the Colts. You can't fucking fight them owners, man. You better give them what they want. If you don't, you'll lose your team. These guys keep fucking acting the way you do now, going in the stadium with signs talking about take this team, this team sucks and all. They'll be in the same fucking boat again. They didn't keep a team out of Cleveland long enough for, you, for the scars to cut deep like they did in Baltimore. Well, we knew. We knew better after that. I mean, we fucked with the Colts a little bit, but we knew better afterwards. Don't fuck with them. Give them what they want. And they'll, and they'll give you what you want. And that's what happened right here. So, learn from that, guys. On to, uh, on to my boy, uh, Cleveland Browns. 216. 216, my boy, man. You know, you're coming up on here talking shit about the RRG. Let me tell you a little story about the RRG. We're the number one group here in the TTC. We wrap our team every week. Win, lose, or draw, we wrap our team. We do what we gotta do. If we have to make a crow, which we haven't had to make many this year, and I don't foresee us making one this week, um, we do it. We respect the people that we, we make the crow to. We, we don't disrespect them, man, and make up excuses. We tell it as it is, you know, when we wrap our team. That just to let you know that that you know that's it there, dude. I mean, we are the big dogs. I know you want to be like us, but you know, it is what it is, man. Now, you want to come on here and talk personal shit and talk about the way people look and and uh, talk crap about people, dude. You got a lot of room to fucking talk, man. You got a twin on here too. You got someone that you look like. 
You think you're so beautiful? You think that you're uh, uh, the man? Dude, you look just like Bengals run this. You act just like him, the fucking rocker. You act just like him. You talk fucking retarded as shit, dude. You look like you need to be wearing a helmet. You come on here, you're fucking uneducated. You quit fucking school to go get a job at McDonald's. How the fuck did that work out for you? I see you're still living with mom and dad. You're probably fucking riding the bus. You ain't got a car to get nowhere. So everywhere you go, you're riding the bus or you're bumming a ride with one of your buddies. Yeah, they probably don't even drive either because they're fucking idiots. You got, you know, you want to act like you're a tough guy. You're not. You know you want, now, now I'll give you credit. I bet you were a badass when you were in school. When you were going to that school for the mentally challenged, I bet you were a bad motherfucker, man. Going up in there with your with your wife beater shirt on, talking shit to them kids that were slobbering, slobbering on the side of the window of the short bus. Fucking couldn't say nothing but <laughs> taking their money, stealing their helmets because you liked them. You thought they were cool, you wanted to put stickers on them, you wanted to wear one. You were jealous. You didn't understand because of your intelligence level. You didn't understand that it wasn't a good thing to wear that fucking helmet. You know, those kids don't want to wear that helmet. They wish they didn't have to wear the helmet, but they have to. You thought that you that it was a, a, a good thing to wear that helmet. So you would steal them from them fucking kids and take their lunch money. Dude, grow the fuck up, man. You're not a hard ass. Go get a fucking job. You know, you thought that McDonald's was going to work out for you. That didn't work out because you didn't have the intelligence enough to keep the fucking job there. Then now you're working with your buddies that were on the short bus. Bengals run this. You're, you're fucking at the fucking factory breaking off little plastic pieces for fucking checkers and chess sets. Because that's where they put the mentally challenged kids. Because they can work just enough to break the pieces off the, the plastic chess pieces and the checkers and put them in board games. Come on, dude. Get for fucking real. You're going to come on here and try and talk shit about men that support their family, that go to work every day and come home and bring a check home and put food on the table when you're still living with mom and dad and you ain't doing shit? Fuck you, man. You know? And and just go back to school, dude. You can do better than where you're at, man. Just go fuck back in school. And when you talk shit, I mean, like, at first I thought you were trying to be like Eminem, man. And then I realized that you're really not. You really seriously think that you're talking shit. You'll sit there and talk shit about someone. And and then you'll try and use a big word. And you think you're criticizing them. But you're fucking really saying something. Like you'll call, be calling them a piece of shit in one sentence. In the same sentence you'll turn around. And you'll say how they're a great person. Because the word that you're using means that greatness but you think that it means they're, that they're a fucking asshole. Because you don't know. You're not smart enough to know this shit. It's called dokisms. What you're doing. When you say these words and you think they mean one thing, but they're not. It's called a dokism. Look it up. You'll figure it out. So anyhow, just... It is what that is with that. The rest of your group, I got no problem with the guys. You're all witnesses. Man's been respectful to me. He, he, compliment, he, he, he comments on my videos. He's not disrespectful I have no problems with him he's a hardcore person reps his team just like we are he hates my team I hate his team but I have respect for the man Rick Dog never says anything to me now, I've never had any comments on my videos badly from him last year he came on talking about our city his city shit I ain't saying mine's the best either maybe a little better than yours maybe not I don't know Fuck the cities. I don't give a shit. All I care about is the Ravens winning this game. And I make enough money to put food on the table for my family. And we can live a decent lifestyle. That's all I worry about. So, anyhow, Cleveland Browns, 216, 216 Cleveland B Clown. I got a bet for you. I wasn't going to do this because it's been 20 years since I've ever did it. But I wanted to bet, make a bet with you. And I didn't want to do a money bet because of the way things are right now with the holidays. I got still got gifts I got to get and I, didn't, I was going to bet a hat and do a hat bet or something but I don't have the money for it and I don't want to do that now not this time of year. So what I, I propose to you is when your team loses I want you to shave your head. Skin tight like mine is. Every time you make a video from now until the next time we play you guys 
I want your head skin tight on that video. Now you can grow your hair in between if you choose. But if I want I want to see skin tight when you come on and do a video with us. For you know when you do a video until our next game. And I want a background of me in your background with the words I'm his bitch. I'm Big Daddy B's bitch. I want that written on the on the on your background. Make it up in paint or whatever you want to, you know, in the paint and put that on there. And I'll and and if for some ungodly reason, which I don't see foresee happening, but if it were to happen that the Ravens were to lose, I'll grow my hair. Twenty years I haven't had hair. I've kept my hair shaved, head shaved. I got a little scruff up here now. I'm gonna I'm gonna trim it today. That way if some you know if I will have to then I'll start growing fresh. But Anyhow, I'll grow my hair from now until the next game we play. And just, you know, because I, I don't, I don't, it'll, it'll bother the hell out of me because it'll be itching and, and I just hate it. I can't stand it when I have any hair, but I'll, I'll do that. So, as much as you'll probably hate to be bald, you could probably grow in between weeks. I'll, I'm just going to let mine grow from now. I, I, it'll grow from now until when we play again. And I'll put a background up saying Cleveland Brown. I'm Cleveland Brown. I'm 216 Cleveland Brown, bitch. And you only got to leave that background up for like three days after the game. You know, you can take that background down after that. But three days after the game, that background stays up on, on your page. All right. Well, like I said, man, that's the bet proposal. You got Big Daddy B, 243, the fucking RRG, number one group in the TTC, and the AG. Nothing else to say but BAM!